future matches overloading and we were discussing overriding the inheritance that we override had features of our forefathers up to seven generations same like in object oriented parent class or super class we can had the features of data and methods of parent or parent to parent or the super class that's the concept and the objective is to reuse we can reuse the data we can reuse the method instead of rewriting again and again reinvent the wheel why once we declare we can use it we call it inheritance or overriding any question up to here then we have abstraction abstract or abstraction is there what is the other name of abstraction abstraction has some name other name encapsulation or not encapsulation abstraction encapsulation or we call it information hiding information hiding like for the capsule the medicine is hidden inside yeah. for medicine we take the doctor gave you some strong medicine and it has some flavor coated so you don't feel the toughness of that capsule same we hide the complexity details from the user complexity details from the user hide the implementation detail because it's none of the problem of the user that how this class or object is working how this class or object is working masalan for example you use net means use visual studio dot net frameworks or windows operating system linux unix mac or mobile phone as a user it's none of your problem how it is developed or we drive car we drive car as a driver it's not my problem that they, it has four cylinder six cylinders eight cylinder how the ring piston is working how the gear box is working i must know how to drive it i must know as a driver how to drive it or as a user of computer it's not my problem that it has four processor six processor eight processor seven processor ten processor i4 i5 i5 i7 i10 dual processor how the motherboard is connected with the processor hard disk is connected how the circuits are connected i'm not technician i'm not hardware guy i'm a user and maybe some users are not from it background we are it guys we know that it has motherboard it has processors it has circuits ics but as non technical guy it's not his problem so as a programmer you have libraries you have components you have frameworks it's not your problem how microsoft sql server database is developed how the atm system is working how the sahar is working or absher is working i should know how to use it now we have abstract classes we have 
abstract method. Now we are talking about abstract techniques, but we have abstract class here. Why do we have abstract class? Because uh, the usage different from user to user. Maybe abstract class. Abstract class. Uh, maybe you can build uh, as what you want. What is the unique property of abstract class? I came all the way from my home, from in the very crowded traffic of Makkah Highway to start the lecture at 8 a.m. And then I came from my office to here for you. And we are lucky we have few students, so I can interact with everyone very easily. If I have 25, 50 students, 70 students, 100 students, it's difficult for me to ask everyone to interact with everyone. So, and you are somewhere. Uh, what is the unique property of abstract class? Why we have abstract class? The right information? Yeah, but the, what is the uniqueness? Abstract class. To avoid copyright? Abstract class cannot create objects, it's just prototype. It's just prototype. Its objects are created in the complete class. And abstract class has abstract methods. We declare abstract method inside abstract class. So that's another reason to have abstract class so we can declare abstract method inside abstract class. And abstract method doesn't have body. Does not have body. Its body is in the concrete method. So it's just a demo. It's just prototype. And we can have interface for the user. To hide the implementation details and we how it is working, how object oriented programming, which method we are calling, he doesn't know. It's all hidden. It's all hidden. So that's the abstract method and the concept of abstract class. Polymorphism is another concept commonly used. What is polymorphism? Uh, taking the uh, property of the superclass properties. Yes. Anyone? Implementing the similar operation. Implementing the similar operation on two or more classes, but in a different way. Implementing the similar operation on two or more classes, but in a different way. For example, Masala, I am taking exam of two sections. For example, I have CPI 251, two sections. Chapter so engineering one, two sections. In one section, I will take objective exam. I am taking exam, but my method of implementation is different. I am taking objective exam, multiple choice, true, false, fill in the blanks. And another section, I am taking subjective exam, descriptive answers, statements, explain, illustrate. So, the method of implementation is different, taking exam. But my assessment styles are different. So function overloading, two or more methods or functions having the same name, 
बट डिफरेंट पैरामीटर्स और डिफरेंट डेटाइज और एब्सट्रेक्शन इज ऑल्सो पॉलीमार्फिजम वन एब्सट्रेक्ट नेम इज सेम वन एब्सट्रेक्ट हैज नो ऑब्जेक्ट यू कैन क्रिएट ऑब्जेक्ट and its objects are created somewhere else in the concrete class in the concrete methods method abstract method has no body no body its body is in the concrete class in the concrete method that's all polymorphism so these are related to the object oriented programming techniques i covered all of them and there is one static method i miss that static method you know we have public static while main or we have static method uh, static is when you use the method more uh, more than one class static method has no reference to create objects cannot create objects so we have to declare keyword static keyword static like public static void main string arguments it has no reference to create objects it is just to have static and we need to declare keyword static with them like public static void main string arguments Throws I/O exception. So these are the all techniques of object-oriented programming I cover. Now we have event-driven programming. In event-driven programming, the program waits for the user to perform an action or trigger an event to perform some specific task. In event-driven programming, program waits for the user so program is dictated by the user program does not dictate the user so order of execution is in the hand of user which event he wants to trigger or fire so user dictates the order of execution that the program like procedure programming procedures are there they are executing one by one here you have the control as a user like browser masla such as browser waits for the user that to write something keywords and it can perform click it will perform action or you write something then it respond or you have form you have different commands are there For example, calculator, you can calculate some addition, submission, subtraction, whatever you want. Or transaction menu, you want, you can withdraw. You want, you can deposit. As a user, you want, you can transfer cash. You want, you can check balance or pay bill. As you like. Or you want to exit. so we say browser is in even listening state or even monitoring state program is in even listening to listen the event performed by the user or event listening state listening or even monitoring monitor monitoring the events triggered by the user for example structured we have discussed the languages c c++ kabol pascal fortran object oriented we have java we have dotnet we have php we have perl python ruby for event driven we have visual basic we have basic 6 or all ruby dotnet ASP.NET, CHC Sharp.NET, GSP for internet programming languages or web programming languages. In Visual Basic, 
we have techniques and in we call them procedures types of procedures we have procedures there different name functions methods procedures in c c plus plus dot net we call them function in visual basic we call them procedures in java we call them methods names are different but function is the same do you have any idea about visual basic anybody works how many types of procedures we have how many types of techniques we have to write even driven programming and we always have i d e i d e stands for anybody open integrated yes integrated development environment do you have ready made components available in the tool box drag and drop and you can have the program rad rapid application development we call them rad environment rapid application development integrated you can integrate them and use them like in c c++ kaboom pascal fortran you have to design everything from scratch to design the graphical user interface or form you have to design the text box label box command button then you have to make them functional if everything is ready form is ready form is there components are there text box check box label box command button as you like and just write within couple of minutes program is ready using c c++ kaboom you need hours and hours to have small program to run a sum of two numbers for example addition of two numbers thus form designing make them functional it's like help very difficult but here our life is easy because of ide integrated development environment like car assembly line components are there you just assemble them you don't manufacture the tire at the assembly line or the body or the door or the side mirrors rear mirror engine gearbox is supplied by the vendor suppliers it's already there you just integrate tha 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 i remember in pakistan we have motor bike automation plant automated plant and within 3 to 5 minutes motor bike you know motor bike motor bike is ready from assembly line 3 to 5 minutes 3 to 5 minutes and daily production is almost 5000 motor bikes per day 5000 motor bikes per day from one plant is the is the quality good or yes because the robots are there what's the problem manually you do more mistakes and human need light break tired and sometimes he gone somewhere and stop the process or he sick or family problem automation yeah it's automation car Honda car is plant is manual with four assembly lines. They have four assembly lines. Three hundred to three fifty cars per day. If you work for twenty four hours three shifts with four assembly lines. In Japan they have automated plant. Two thousand five hundred to three thousand cars per day is the production rate if they. they run it on the full capacity if they want if they have order 
Can you see the difference? Because of integration and that is the that concept concept we use in software engineering. Our application, why we say rad? Rapid application, very fast, automated. Because components are ready there, you just assemble them. And there is a company, its name is Innovative Solutions. My many students are working there. In IDE, you have to drag and drop, then you have to align them, set the background color, font size manually. Components are there, but you have to, if you want to design an interface as a form, you have to align them, background color, font size, font style. They have a component in which they just select how many text boxes they need, how many label boxes they need, how many command buttons they need, align interfaces there with set background, font size, font style, set further admission, customized component. And like ATM, they have product because in the bank, you need mother name to open account. You need mother name to open account. In America, there are so many child which don't know their parents, their mother name, father name. Because of without marriage, couples, they have an issue. So for those children, for those employees, how you pay the service? Because non salary you transfer in the bank, they cannot open account. So this company, Innovative Solutions, they have their own product, the cash machines. So they are, they have a start cash machines. They are developing software for those cash machines. Employer, the company will issue them a card and they can go to those machines to withdraw their salary. So it's a customized cash delivery instead of the bank. So they have this product and they have this component in which they can set, select and interfaces there. Further advice, further rapid application, advanced stage to save the time, effort, resources. So interface designing is very easy. We are talking about event driven programming technique. In event driven programming, we have like Visual Basic, Power Builder, Delphi. They all are event driven programming languages. We have sub procedure function procedure event procedure and microsoft defined procedure i'm talking about now specifically real basic 6.0 microsoft defined sub procedure and function has the same function except sub procedure does not return value. Sub procedure doesn't return value. Whereas function procedure returns a value. So sub procedure is like subroutine in C, if anybody knows subroutine in C. Function procedure returns a value and sub does not return a value. Whereas even procedure you call sub and function procedure inside event procedure so you have click event you have click event so you call sub or function as you want so it's like a encapsulation or no yes but we also call event driven programming as object based programming because vendor has defined objects for you in the toolbox or in the library. In the toolbox or in the library. So you just drag and drop or reclude from the library, select and you can use it. So click event 
is declared by Microsoft, you have not done anything. You have declared some procedure and the function procedure. So click event is there. So we have event procedures and Microsoft defined procedures like you write dot command one dot list of functions, text box one dot list of functions, label box one dot list of functions. So there is a list of functions. It has a name, this list of functions. What is the name of that list? When you write dot, automatically list of functions appear to you. As a programmer, you can select them. It has a name. Messages, messages. Yeah, you want to answer? It's called intelligence. Like intelligent, intelligence. This list is called intelligence. So Microsoft defined procedures are there. Or you want to import picture graphic on your form, you select the property of form and you can insert the picture. You select command button, command button automatically the property window and the list of methods of the command button or the text box or the check box will appear. So we have property window for that object. And by itself, this whole framework, Vue Studio.net or Vue Studio is composed of abstraction. Go back to object oriented, but it's objects. So you have different property window, form layout window, code window where you can code. Form, you can design the interface. Form layout window, you can adjust the screen. Property window, toolbox. It's all collection and it's all abstracted for you. You don't know how it's developed by Microsoft or Power Builder or the Delphi or the Eclipse. Or now we have React Native, very popular. Then we move to declarative programming. Declarative programming. We declare facts and rules about an object or subject. Declarative programming, we declare facts and rules about an object or subject to perform a specific task. So it is based on logic. We have facts and rules are there to manipulate those facts. We declare facts about an object or subject and we define rules to manipulate those facts. For example, we have GPS, we have Google, we have expert systems, expert system we use we use declarative programming to develop expert system or the CN support system I told DSS ES and the languages we use for log and list prolog stands for programming in logic logical programming list list processing For example, if you go to Dubai Mall or any other mall and if you don't know the shop location, just the screen at the entrance, you type the name of the, that shop like H&M. It will guide you where is located, where this shop is located. So our data, our facts are there in the system that where is the location of that shop. Turn right, turn left, 
up first floor, second floor, ground floor, basement, where is that? And you will reach the or GPS. You enter the destination. It will tell you you can go. For example, King of Bulgaria University from your home. So it will guide you. You can go by Makka Highway, Tehria, Palestine, Mudida Road, and this route will take 15 minutes. This route will take 20 minutes. This route will take 40 minutes. This is more crowded, more traffic. This has less traffic. This is long route. This is short route. So our data, our facts are there, and then as you write the destination, it process and it will show you. And that is the reason some shortcuts are not there. As a local, you know. As a resident, you know. But that is not entered in the Google Map. So these routes, and sometimes road is blocked because when it is entered, that road is open. But then, Guma or the city or Baldia, LDA or municipal committee put some barrier there and you reach and that by your driving by, your, by using GPS and barrier is in front of you and then it will take you to another route that this is another route to reach there it happens with me when I go for vaccination uh, in the Makkah Sun Hospital because I got the appointment there so by using GPS when I reached to at a certain point there was roads closed. But GPS showing me you can go straight across the barrier. So but it is as intelligent as you made it. It can't compare the human intelligence. Because as a human, I know this road is closed, so I take another. But GPS doesn't know. The road is closed or Google map doesn't know. So we use prologue or LISP to develop intelligence systems. Like the university from where I did my master, Kefrasha University, UK, they have automatic timetable scheduling system. Automatic timetable scheduling system. Conflict free. No conflict is there. And as a student, you can see next semester courses, which courses are offered, in which classroom, what is the schedule, and they use prologue. And it was degree project, capstone project of students. And then you still hire those students to maintain that system because now they want to implement then it needs maintenance then those students are hired as employee as their own programmers the IT team as a part of team so prologue they enter all the student data classroom data lab data Faculty data, instructors data. And when you process the rules, it will show you. Or Google, you search something related to like, for example, Dr. Rizwan Jamil Krashi. It, it will show you all the data and process you and show you the links. Possible links. Or we can use for booking, like flights. I want to go to, for example, London. It will show me the possible flights. Yes. Or there are so many applications are there. Based on the facts are there. And whatever you want, the, it will manipulate, process and show you. Some companies are using for production factory how many cars they want to manufacture, how many cars or how much production they should have. Like I told you, the Honda plant in Japan can manufacture 2,500 to 3,000 cars per day if they want. 
तो सिस्टम विल टेल यू इंस्टेड यू डिसाइड एज एमन बट यू डिसाइड सिस्टम विल हेल्प यू टू डिसाइड that data is there or in which business you want to invest your money stock exchange buy the shares of some company like almarai aramco stc nehdi saudia or you purchase land agriculture land or commercial property plaza shops so banks normally use such systems that in which like city bank is using a system to guide them in which business they have to invest their money they are using a sub system decision support system similarly expert system in egypt and algeria the rural areas are there far areas are there remote areas are there where eye specialist doesn't want to go they want to be in the main cities like kahra uh, where all facilities are available housing children education other facilities shopping they don't want to go the rural areas villages towns so an american company there is a charity company charity organization not company organization they develop a system it's called i care expert system i care expert system any technician patient will go to that place any patient will come technician will enter the symptoms disease symptoms in the system and system will guide what are the reasons what are the possible medicines or the treatment it will recommend it's called i care expert system and it's already implemented or general electric company is very popular for diesel engines for circuit breakers electronics their diesel engine is very popular for construction for uh, electricity generation for remote sites where you cannot have direct electricity connection so you can have engines to generate electricity or for production so they have a system it's called delta 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 is start at all service centers through USA. Like Toyota has service center, you go to Old Bakka Road, there is a service center. After the Jamil, they have showroom and they have service center. STC has showroom, has service centers. Other companies also have showroom, service centers to repair, to maintain your car. Toyota, Honda, Ford. This general electric system, any technician, any mechanic, diploma holder, will just enter the problem. Customer will tell that this is the problem of the engine. Like sometimes engine starts knocking. It's called knocking of the engine, like door knock. Enter the problem. System will generate architecture of the engine. how to repair it how to replace the parts without damaging other part safety precautions now they don't need any engineer to travel and visit and customers have to wait for 2 month 3 months that their engineer will come to this state and fix their engine and there was an engineer who was getting almost 150k dollars per month 150000 dollars per month and he was traveling through us traveling expenses hotel expenses daily expenses almost 3000 dollars per month and now this guy 
when he wanted to retire at the age of 60, General Electric asked him, asked that guy, transfer all of your knowledge into the system. His 40 years experience is preserved. And as, as you can see, I'm uploading my lectures on YouTube or Facebook. Why? To preserve my knowledge. Otherwise, you don't know, especially I started during Corona period, that we don't know when we will be suffered, we will be affected. And all the knowledge I have, all my experience I have, will go with me. I have 20 plus years of education, 20 plus years of experience, I'll go with you. Society should get benefit of that, students should get benefit of that, you alive or you die, it doesn't matter. Like my lectures will be there. Now this engineer, his name was David I. Smith. He's gone. Maybe he's died now. But his knowledge is preserved in the Delta system. And company is getting benefit of that. Customers are getting benefit of that. So they use Prola to develop that system. Like I told you, the Staffordshire, they have timetable scheduling system, conflict free and expert system. So that's the declarative program. So I covered structure, object oriented, event driven, declarative. What is the difference between the declarative and uh, event driven? Because they are. Yeah. Event driven is object based. And you have events, you have objects. Now we have hybrid style in .NET, in NetBeans. You have object based and object oriented. You can create your own objects or you can def use vendor defined objects like Microsoft defined or Oracle defined or Eclipse. Here you have your data, your methods. In Declarative, you don't have data uh, methods. Data is not card data, it's card facts. Like for example, in FCIT, how many rooms are there? Where is the bathroom? Where is the play place? Where is the pantry? Or you want to go to my office 116. Green is there, you enter 116. It will guide you that where is this room 116. So rules are there to manipulate those facts. Or you want to check Amazon, what is the trend of the customer? Or even the Facebook does the same. What is what customer likes? Whatever you like, the similar videos will start coming to you on YouTube. Similar things will come on Facebook. What are on your interest? Amazon, eBay, Alibaba, all e-commerce website, they check the trend of the customer. Yeah. And then they show offers to that customer, whatever he likes, as per his interest. They use such languages, such features in the system to check. So it's like intelligent systems. And we have like robotics. That is the advanced stage. Neural networks. They learn like humans, learn by mistake. We have supervised learning, we have unsupervised learning, and we have hybrid style. In the supervised, supervisor is there, that system has decided correct, answer is correct or wrong. But unsupervised is learning like humans are learning by their mistakes. So like the Artificial intelligence can create its own facts. But you can, based on the senses, new data. Like humans, knowledge is continuously improving. Robots, knowledge, because they are learning. Unsupervised learning, they are continuous learning. Like humans are learning. So that is the reason people are scared 
that state will come that rewards will control the humans now humans are controlling the rewards because they are becoming intelligent and intelligent like the chess champion he was defeated by the system by the super computer like this he played three rounds with that system the first round the system took some time to understand his tactics to play and once system learned that the second round tha third round tha so learn as you are saying new data new tactics the sensors are there it is seeing cameras are there so declarative programming style is totally different facts are there rules are there and you manipulate those facts for example in pantry i want to check that tea is available or what items available there biscuit is there sugar is there milk is there or floor cleaning items are available air freshener is there or not so i will check in the system instead i physically go there based on the data it will show me in the in the warehouse you physically go there check which items are you need to order or which are extra access system will tell you based on the data it will process and it will display it. but the problem is we are expensive more cost as compared to the mis or the dps task section processing system but they are for the top management who need those systems to take decisions like erp system sap oracle max of dynamics automation because they will take decision like logistic support system every company needs instead you will order to the supplier system will check that which item custom uh, vendor will need to supply it will be ordered automatically instead you will check and then you order it's fast it's time saving cost saving effort saving resource saving and your all processes are automated like attendance system with the payroll system integrated so declarative objective is different objective objective is different their way of execution is different here you have objects here you have rules to process them if i can show you prologue as you can see here this is the data likes we read that mary likes food this is the way to read it mary likes wine john likes wine john likes mary now you have likes and then mary food likes john wine yes yes you so you this is the theory you are doing now let's me show you the rule food burger this is the data fact you are providing food sandwich food pizza lunch sandwich dinner pizza meal x this is the rule so this is the way to write the rule to process then you provide the facts there to process that food x so food pizza meal x lunch x dinner sandwich so this is you are doing the query and it will process according to that lunch x it will come sandwich dinner x it will show you what is in the dinner pizza your process so this is different 
The concept is different than the object. Now we have testing. Coding and implementation phase we done. We move to testing. Testing techniques. But before that, what is the difference between testing and maintenance? Testing is when uh, to see if the program is working and uh, doing the task and maintenance and see uh, the, the errors that we saw in the testing and, and uh, Testing is a process to identify bugs, maximum number of bugs in the system. Testing is a process to identify, to find maximum number of bugs. Whereas maintenance is process to fix the bugs. Testing to identify and maintenance to fix the bugs. And maintenance is not just bug fixing. To update and upgrade the system that is another functionality of maintenance. Testing techniques. How many type of testing techniques we have or let me ask you another way in testing we have validation and we have verification or people sometimes write verification and validation verification is a process to make sure that software is functioning correctly software is functioning correctly and validation, you test the function to make sure it is functioning according to customer requirements. So first you verify, like when you write the code, you verify it's functioning, it's working, it's executing, then you will test it, it is functioning according to customer requirements or not. And Verification starts from planning phase. From planning phase. Verification started once you start writing the code. For example, we have techniques for validation test. We have unit integration. system acceptance. What is unit testing? You test each function, each line, each module on unit basis individually. Each class, each object on unit base. Each module, each class, each function on unit basis. We also call it component testing. Each component independently test. Remember the modularity, structured programming. You divide the main functions into sub functions as a modular approach. Top down, modular, the last lecture we covered. So you have modules. You have modules. Modular approach is there. So you can assign modules to individual programmers, individual team members, easy modules to junior programmers, complex modules to senior programmers. So for example, transaction system or email system, transaction withdraw, you, you will do. Transfer cash you will do, check balance you will do, pay bill you will do. So I assign four values to four programmers. Or email, inbox you will do, compose he will do, send message he will do, cash you will do. So I assign four values to four programmers. Now each Team member will test his module on unit basis. Withdraw, you will test. Transfer cash, check balance, pay bill, inbox, compose, send message, trash. This is unit testing. 
that it is working according to customer requirements. So you will verify and then you will validate. What if like the program is millions or thousands of lines and functions? The testing will it's take not months or one part. It has components. It has several modules. So you will assign the modules to the team. For example, as two members or three members, one module is assigned and depending upon the system size. Depending upon the system size. And then you perform integration testing. In integration testing, you will integrate them as one system. As after you have done the unit, now you will integrate them. And in the integration testing, you will check the interconnectivity between them. You can call hyperlinks or you can call from one, one module to another, like inbox to jump, jump to compose, compose to set message. Or withdraw. You can go back to your transaction menu or not. Transfer cash, you can go back to the transaction menu, the main menu, the alien system. Or in like order orders, you select the 2022 session for this semester. Then I want to check the previous semester. You can go back to check the previous semester courses. Like summer was there, the summer courses. Or yesterday, a student came in the fall last year. He registered with me and he was failed. So he wanted to have some query. So I went to the previous semesters from the current semester. And then I asked, what's your name? He said, Khalid Sheikh. I said, okay, I checked. There are courses, three, four courses. I select two, five, one or four, five, six. Okay, four, five, six names are there. So you can, you can check the interactivity or data is importing from one to another and vice versa or not. Like in Hotmail, Gmail, Yahoo, Mail, you have composed new message and the send message. As many mails you will send from the composer new message, you can see in the send message. So output of one is becoming the input of second or not. Output of one module is becoming the input of the second or not. Independently they are working, but after integration, still they are working or not, that is the system testing. As independent individual modules, you don't miss it, they are working. After integration, still they are performing their functionality or not, that is the system testing at a system level. This card, system testing. And then you have acceptors. Acceptors has alpha and beta, two types are there. In alpha testing, we call the customer at software company side to test in front of the team. We also call it lab testing or control testing or contrived testing. Lab, lab testing or controlled because team is present to guide the user, to control the user. So he will not enter some abnormal input, invalid input. Like name is there. There's a form and name is some. And he's trying to enter number there. To test, so you will ask, Ishada, what are you doing? Have you seen any number, with, a name with a number? And this contact number, mobile number, Jawal number, he is trying to enter ABC there to test. But you will ask, Ishada, have you seen any mobile number with ABC? So you will stop him to do something wrong. You don't want, bug will come. Or he will keep blank, empty, any field. And he's trying to submit the form. You did not fill this field because you are there controlling him. Like when you are learning driving and somebody is sitting, a instructor is there, 
He will not allow you to accelerate, to speed up the car because he doesn't know you have the control or the car you can stop it or not or you may hit someone. Like I remember my instructor, if I try to accelerate, he has brake on the other side because he was driving the car. So if I try to accelerate, he press the brake, he said, what are you doing? He stopped me. But when you are alone, you can play with the car, you can do the experiment. He will not allow you to do experiment. So in the alpha, it's controlled lab testing. In the beta, you release at the customer side, like Microsoft release beta value. Then customer will test as he likes to kill the system, to crash the system. Because after beta, he has to pay. He has to release the money. Once he accepted beta, me, company will release the final version. But before releasing the final version, customer has to release the first money. So he want to make sure that no bugs are there. Or maximum number of bugs are identified. So customer will submit you a report. What is the name of that report? I differentiate between errors and defects somewhere. When I say difference between bugs, errors, defects. Any question about today's lecture before I close? In the in the alpha copy, why why they guide him? If the interface is good, because it's... as a human you don't want like your child, as a parent your child. If somebody will abuse your child, what you will do? You will stop him. What are you doing? Or he's trying to correct your child, somebody, even blood relation, relative. You don't like, as a parent, you don't like somebody will say something to your child. Say your code is your child, your product. You don't want bug will come. So you will not allow him to play with your code. Because it's alpha. But in the beta, you are not present. That customer will kill your code as he likes because he will try to enter maximum number, minimum number, minus number to see what happened. Bugs will come or like I say, when you are driving alone, then you will do experiment on the car. You will drive fast, right, left, reverse, forward as you like to see how much control you have over your car. How much you are skilled in the driving. How much you are comfortable. Because in the presence of in the presence of instructor, you are nervous. He will not allow you to do something silly with the car, stupid with the car, to do some experiment. But in the beta, customer asks his users and users kill this code and identify maximum number of bugs. Because customer will submit a report. If it is clear, then submit. It's clear, you can release the final version. But if bugs are there, you have to maintain them and send again, then again alpha, again beta. There is a cycle till customer approves the beta. This cycle will take some time to fix those bugs and again alpha, again beta till customer approves the beta and release the final version. But before release, customer has to pay. Thank you very much. Jazakallah khair. May Allah bless you.